Hey everybody, Captain Beanard back here with another Wi-Fi battle. So, today we have a battle against Platinum. So, uh, there you can see his team on the side there. It is very strong and well balanced, very uh, high tier. Uh, looking at my team, it is the same one that I've been using the past couple games. Uh, not very high tier. So, this uh, should definitely make for an interesting challenge, I think. So. I uh, just want to make a quick note of the opposing team, of course, and then we need to decide what we want to lead with. So, hmm, I think, I think we're going to go with the Polytoad in this one, actually. And we'll see how that works out. Alright, so he is going to lead with the Weevil, kind of as expected, as we led with the Politoed. So, going to... Uh, he's going to get the pressure coming into play, of course. We are going to get the Drizzle to make it rain. So, I think uh, we're just going to go ahead and fire off a Scald here to open up uh, Max Special Attack in the rain. Should do some decent damage to just about anything. He's going to go straight for a Throat Chop here, which is going to take us down by about a third. We are going to hit him with a Scald in return, which is going to take him down by about three quarters. Uh, no burn, unfortunately, um, but we are going to regain some HP with the Leftovers. So. Um, we have a little bit of a choice to make here. Uh, we could definitely take this thing out with another attack, but um, it would leave us pretty worse for wear on the Politoed. So um, I think we're actually going to try to switch out here um, to preserve the uh, damage on the Politoed. So we're going to go ahead and switch into the Mawile, actually, and um, hopefully we can take a dark attack a little better. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and come in with that. Do resist both the stab moves as uh, he goes for a throat chop again, so that's not going to do too much to us, fortunately. So, um, yeah, another choice to make here. Um, I don't know if he's within range that a sucker punch would take him out or not. Um, that is going to be a close call. Um, I think I don't really want to risk it because. Um, we don't have the best of attacks, so I think we're just going to go ahead and click Iron Head here, see what he wants to do. He's actually not going to want to stay in, so he might not have a good move for us, or he might be uh, locked in, possibly. So he's going to come in with the Glyce score. We're going to go Iron Head. We are max attack, Life Orb, and Cheer Force. Uh, we take him down by about half with that, but uh, then, unfortunately, he does get poisoned by the Toxic Orb. So, um, yeah, I think uh, we're not going to want to stay in on this matchup here. Um, so um, he could, because he could definitely just Earthquake us, and that would be really bad. Um, he might want to try to set up, though. So hmm, actually, this might be a little bit of a choice here. Um, yeah, he might actually just anticipate the switch and try to set up. So you know what? I think we're going to maybe try to catch him here. We're going to stay in, um, actually, to try and play some mind games, and we're going to attempt to go for a play rough here, see what he wants to do. And um, he is going to go for a Roost, actually, so that's interesting. So he's going to heal up um, to full HP off of that. We're going to go for a Play Rough in return, and we do connect, and that is going to knock him a little below half, but unfortunately, uh, Poison Heal just going to go ahead and put him back up above half, so that's obviously bad news for us. Um, we're not going to win the War of Attrition here, so we're definitely going to want to switch. Uh, the only question is, what do we want to switch into? Um, he could definitely roost again, um, or he could potentially, um, try to set a hazard. He could attack us. A lot of possibilities here, but I think we're actually just going to go ahead and try to get the Jinx in here. This might be our best shot to do it. So, um, we're going to go ahead and do that and hope he either roosts or goes for a hazard. So there is the Jinx, and he 
he is going to Earthquake, so that kind of sucks. Uh, he's going to nail us with an Earthquake, going to drop us all the way down. 14 HP in the red, and the rain is going to stop, so that also sucks. So uh, we're not going to get our Dry Skin to heal us, as um, he is going to get a Poison Heal uh, to heal him. So that is bad. Um, yeah, I think there's not a lot we can do at this point, except for just hope that we can uh, outspeed him here and try to, I guess, hit him with an Ice Beam. So we're just going to go Ice Beam and see what happens here. And uh, he stays in, or no, he doesn't stay in, actually. He's going to go for the switch, and uh, he's going to switch into the Blissey. So um, that is pretty unfortunate. So um, we're going to Ice Beam this thing, and uh, yeah, that is actually going to do a little bit of a decent amount with a critical hit there. And we actually get the freeze on the Blissey, so that's kind of funny. Um, so we get the freeze. Um, the Blissey's going to get some HP back with the leftovers. Um, so yeah, we're not going to be able to stay in on this matchup. Um, but we do have um, some options that we can get in here on the, um, the Blissey. So I think we're going to... I think we're going to actually come in with the Kecleon. So we're going to try to take this opportunity to get the Kecleon in. Um, so yeah, there it is. And um, the Blissey is frozen turn one, so that is good news for us. Um, it is going to get some HP back with the leftovers. So um, we're relatively clear here. This thing is still frozen, so we're relatively clear to go for a power-up punch here. So that is exactly what we're going to do. And uh, he is going to stay in. He actually outspeeds, but he's still frozen, so that's good. We're going to power up punch, change to the fighting type, um, and we're actually going to get a good chunk of damage on that thing um, with the power up punch and also the attack boost thanks to it. So that is exactly what we're looking for as uh, he is going to get some HP back with the leftovers once again. So um, I think we're sitting at plus one here. Um, based on the Pokemon he has left on his team, I don't know if we want to really get too greedy with boosts right now so I think we're gonna stick with our plus one and we're actually gonna attempt to drain punch this turn as um, he is actually not gonna stay in on this matchup he's gonna go for the switch and he is gonna come in with the ice core so we are going to hit this thing with a plus one drain punch and uh, that is not gonna do much damage unfortunately but it is going to um, yeah he is going to get some HP back with the poison heal so um, yeah, not a great um, matchup here, although, um, yeah, not a great matchup, unfortunately. Um, we do kind of want to cons conserve the Kecleon, so I think the best thing we can do here is probably just switch. So we're going to switch, actually, we're going to try to switch into the Weezing this time around. Um, so yeah, we're going to see where that gets us. So we're going to go for Weezing, and um, he is going to go knockoff, so that's pretty bad. It's not going to do too much damage, but it is going to get rid of our Black Sludge, and then he is going to get some more HP back with the Poison Heal, so that's not great. Um, I think we can go ahead. We probably can't do much to this thing attack-wise, but uh, we're just going to throw a Lair of Toxic Spikes up, because this thing probably can't do too much to us. He's just going to knock off again, which will do even less damage. This time around, we're going to go ahead and throw that Lair of Toxic Spikes up. Um, and yeah, we have those up, although there's not many Pokemon on his team that are going to be susceptible to it. He gets more HP back with the Black Sludge, and uh, this time around, I think we're going to attempt to... Uh, fire blast this thing actually see how much damage we can get as uh, he just stays in and knockoffs again so that's interesting uh, we're just gonna fire blast them and uh, not gonna do too much damage unfortunately and then he is going to get some HP back with the poison heal so uh, we're kind of going nowhere fast here with this one um, we could switch out and try to sack something to this thing or we could just try to whittle this thing down although he does have roost so he could just easily roost up at any given point. So the best play here might actually be to just sack something. So I think the Jinx is unfortunately going to be the uh, the chosen one here. So I think we just have to kind of do that to get a clean switch on this thing. So uh, we're going to go ahead and switch out into the Jinx. And um, he is going to go defog, actually. So that's interesting. So he's going to go ahead and... Um, blow away the um, stealth rocks from our side of the board and the spikes, toxic spikes from his side of the board. So that's actually not bad because we do get the Jinx in for free here as uh, he gets some HP back with the um, 
with the uh, uh, poison heal. So, um, yeah, now um, he's probably not going to want to stay in on this matchup, I would imagine. So, you know what? Um, we could take a risk here and try to set up a nasty plot. I mean, we were just switching Jinx in as a uh, fodder anyway. So, you know what? I think we're actually just going to go ahead and do it. We're going to try to nasty plot on him, and uh, he's not going to stay in. So, uh, he's going to switch directly into the Blissey, so yeah, we're going to, um, and it, that Blissey is going to unfortunately come in not frozen, uh, thanks to Natural Cure, so uh, we are going to pop off a Nasty Plot to get that uh, sharp special attack increase, and uh, yeah, now we are poised to see how much damage a plus two Psychic can do to a Blissey, so that's what we are going to do here. So yeah, uh, we're definitely going to outspeed plus two Psychic on the Blissey, and that is going to do a lot of damage, actually, knocking him into uh, about a quarter HP, but he is going to Seismic Toss in return, and that will get rid of the Jinx. So Jinx actually did more than I had given it credit for, uh, but we are going to lose Jinx, and that is going to knock us down to five as the Blissey gets more HP back with the leftovers. So the only good news about this is we are, in fact, going to get a clean switch in here, and uh, that is what we sorely need. So... Um, we have to bring something in to try and face this thing. Um, the only question is, what? So, I think we have to... I think we actually have to do... Uh, we have to do the Electivire, I think. So that's what we're going to do. Um, because we have to outspeed this thing so it doesn't potentially soft boil. So, unfortunately, he does have immunities to... Uh, our best attacking options here, so I think our, given that, our best option is going to be um, going for the Ice Punch, so we're going to do that. Uh, Gliscor is a great switch here, and uh, he actually stays in, so we go Choice Band Ice Punch on this Blissey, and that's just going to go ahead and get rid of it from that range, thankfully, and uh, that is going to knock him down to 5 as well, so um, that is definitely something for us. So. Um, now he's going to go ahead and come in with the Lucario, so don't know if he knows if we're choice or not, but um, we definitely can't stay in on this matchup, so um, we're going to have to choose something to switch in on this Lucario. Um, what do we want? What do we want to make it is the question. Um, hmm. That is a good question. Uh, this could go one of many ways here. Um, I think we're actually going to... We're going to go for Weezing, actually. So we're going to predict the fighting move here and go for Weezing. So hopefully that works out for us. So there it is. And he's going to go Extreme Speed. So that is going to do quite a bit of damage, unfortunately. He is Life Orb. So that's going to knock us, unfortunately, down to within range that another one can take us out. So... Uh, that is bad news. Uh, we could try to switch, but I don't think there's much of a point in trying to save Weezing at that low HP. So, um, unfortunately, I think we're just going to have to stay in here and uh, probably just go down. So, um, we're just going to click. Um, we're going to click Fire Blast here, but probably not going to matter as. Um, he goes for a Meteor Mash, so uh, he does connect with that, and that will... Uh, actually, he does get the attack raise, so that is pretty unfortunate. So the Weezing is going to go down, knocking us to four, and he got the attack raise as he takes some Life Orb damage as well. So that's actually pretty bad news for us. Um, so yeah, bad news. Um, so now we have to decide what we want to bring in against this thing. Um... Yeah, it's actually pretty bad. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Hmm. What do we want to bring in on this Lucario is the question. Um, yeah, I think, honestly, I think the best thing we have is probably just to go back to the Electivire, unfortunately, because um, at plus one with a Life Orb, um, I don't know that anything we have left is going to survive an attack from this thing. His coverage is just so insane. Um, so yeah, I think the best thing we can do here is just um, is just Earthquake and see what happens. So uh, he's going to Extreme Speed at plus one, and we can barely survive that, knocking us to 22 in the red. Thankfully, we can take one. 
Uh, we go for the Earthquake in return, and that is going to get rid of that Lucario and knock him down to four. So that was a uh, pretty scary uh, situation there. Could have been swept potentially by that thing. So, um, yeah, we come out a little worse for wear, but at least we're still in the fight here. So um, he's going to go ahead and come in with the Salamence now. And, um, yeah, no Intimidate, so that's uh, bad news as well. Moxie going to be on deck for sure, and now because we're choice locked into Earthquake, we have no choice but to switch, and uh, if he knows this, which he probably does, um, that will open the door for him to Dragon Dance, which is, yeah, definitely more bad news coming our way, but we're going to see if we can work with it. So, we're going to go ahead and switch directly into the Politoed, and uh, we're going to get the Drizzle off once again to uh, make it rain as uh, he's going to Earthquake, so that is bad news. Uh, going to knock us down to the red, but we do survive. And uh, he's Life Orb on the Salamence as well, so um, that is bad news for us. We are going to get some HP back from the leftovers. Unfortunately, uh, we're not going to be able to take a second one of those for sure, so um, I guess the best thing we can do here is just uh, try to Ice Beam this thing. So we're not going to survive an attack, though, as uh, he does Earthquake. Um, and yeah, we definitely can't take that. So that is going to get rid of our Politoed and knock us to three. So that is also going to give him a Moxie to increase his attack. So that is bad news all around here as uh, more Life Orb recoil comes through. So. Um, yeah, I think um, things are definitely not looking great for us at this point. Um, we're definitely going to have to hope for some sort of miracle here. <laughs> so uh, we're going to come in with the Kecleon at this point. And um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and sucker punch this thing because that's really all we can do at this point. So um, yeah, we're going to get that changed to a dark type max attack, sucker punch coming at him, and it is going to knock him down to about a third, as he is going to lock himself into outrage here, and that is just going to go ahead and absolutely destroy the Kecleon, obviously, and uh, knock us down to uh, two, as he gets another moxie boost to increase his attack, and then takes more life orb damage. So that is pretty bad, but the only good thing about that is that now um, he is locked in to Outrage, we know that, so we can safely come in with the uh, Maul Weil at this point, and uh, since we know he's locked into Outrage, uh, we can go ahead and um, fire off an Iron Head, which should definitely take this thing out uh, at that range. So he has to go Outrage, doesn't touch us because we're very obviously go for Max Attack, Sheer Force Life Orb boosted Iron Head, which does take the Salamence out and knock him down to three. So. Um, yeah, now he's going to go ahead and come in with the Gliscor. So, um, yeah, we're definitely in a rocky situation here. Um, I think the best we can do to the Gliscor at this point is um, probably just to sucker punch it. Um, but I think either way, we're probably in pretty, uh, pretty bad shape here, um, just based on what we have left. So we're going to go ahead and sucker punch this thing. And um, yeah, Sucker Punch is not going to do much of anything to this thing as um, we take some damage and he goes Earthquake and um, we're not going to survive that. So that is going to take out the um, Mawile dropping us down to just one. Um, the rain's going to be over, not that it matters. And uh, Poison Heal is going to come through uh, there. So um, our last Pokemon is, of course, going to be the Electivire as time is uh, running low here, but it's not really going to matter because uh, we are choice banned, so we have to lock into something. Again, unfortunately, our best two moves here don't touch the Gliscor, so we have to just choice lock into Ice Punch here. It's the only thing we can do, and um, we do do that, and uh, we go ahead and nail the Ice Punch on the Gliscor, which will take it out and uh, knock him down to two, so that's something. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, now we are choice banned, uh, locked into Ice Punch, and he does have Pokemon on deck um, that will actually not only outspeed us, but also resist Ice Punch. So he comes in with the Weevil, uh, got the pressure, not going to matter, um, just going to click Ice Punch because we have to, and uh, he does indeed outspeed, but uh, he's actually just going to Ice Shard uh, just in case we're Scarf, and uh, yeah, that will finish off the Electivire, and that is game. So we're going to lose that one 2-0 uh, to Platinum, but that was actually a pretty good match, I thought. Um, we definitely uh, hung in there a little longer than I would 
have thought, given the fact that uh, that was a pretty big mismatch on paper. Um, but yeah, we still made that one a competitive uh, game nonetheless. Um, that is the hazard of using the uh, lower tier teams, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, that is the way it goes sometimes. But again, still a uh, pretty solid match nonetheless. So that's it. Thanks for watching again, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed. Please hit that like button, leave a comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy. And stay tuned for more new battles in the future. So that's it, and we'll see you next time.